welcome back now before going to the next step which is the roughing operation for our part i really want to go over the operation the first operation we've created and what you can do with it okay so then first time we've created this operation the facing operation or any operation it's going to show up under a little yellow folder now that check mark just means it's been selected that's all okay so whenever you see a little green check mark it means it's selected and all the options are right here now if you want to go back and change anything all you have to do is just click once left click once on any of these options so for example just click on parameters and it will open up and you can come over here and change any of the tools if you want change the feed rates and speed rates even change the numbering of the tool and come over to face parameters and change any of these options as well so anytime you need to go back to edit any of these options you can just click on parameters now there's also the tool so there's an option for the tool now if you click on that there's going to be the define tool machine group uh, and you, this is where you can come in and edit your tool if you like so if you don't like the kind of 80 degree diamond you want to change it to a 55 degree one you can come over here and change it to that and we'll go over that uh, i have a session specifically just for that okay so look for that in the dvd as well but uh, for this one this is where you can come in change the insert you can also change the holder what type of holder you have and i really highly recommend you define all your holders and your inserts in here because this will allow you to mimic exactly what you have on the machine okay and then there's the parameters for those as well so depending on what kind of holder and insert you use you can come over here and change the feeds and speed rates even the plunge rates tool numbers and all of that and you can save to tool library so you can set up your own tool and save it to tool library okay and you can also come over here to type of turning and select the type of turning before you start creating drawing your tool now draw tool method is actually literally it draws out your tool all right so i'm not going to be doing this in this uh, session but it's kind of nice it'll draw out your tool in solidworks and allows you to save it as a little drawing so i'm going to click on x to exit out of that all right so i'm going to click on x to exit out okay now geometry this is uh now lathe operation defines using stock with no modification geometry now i did not create any geometry for this usually you'll see geometry under master cam not master cam for solidworks because we, we created this out of a solid model we're machining straight from solidworks solid model not a geometry like you would do in solidworks i'm sorry in master cam so for the toolpath this is the toolpath it'll tell you information about the toolpath 5.5k is how big it is exercise number one dot nc code program number one okay and if you click on that i'm gonna make this a little smaller over here this is kind of where you can watch it you can play it and it'll show you it'll bring the tool down and now it'll start up like like this and you need to zoom out because especially because i had this open it shifted everything to the right so this is kind of just coming over here and showing you what it's doing so i'm going to press play again this is my next tool path and then this is my last tool path there you go so it'll just keep showing you it'll just keep repeating and showing you uh, the entire tool path that you've created okay to create the facing operation so go ahead and select okay to exit out of that and then there's update stock now this is uh, basically do not update stock so this is what will not allow you to update the stock basically um, if you want to add some stock later it won't let you update that so you want to make sure that you have that selected so you can so it'll allow you to update the stock at any time. I usually never lock it in, okay? This will lock it in so you don't update the stock. Now I'm gonna uh, keep this uh, checked, okay? Uh, and make sure that this is how it looks like. Now if you start creating a lot of operation, this will get a lot bigger. If you wanna just uh, make it smaller, just click on this little minus sign next to the folder and we'll minimize all the options for that, okay? So this session is just to go over these options and every parameter for every different kind of toolpath is gonna be different. So we'll go over one uh each one slowly the first time around this way you understand it better okay so we're going to go back to master cam x8 in our next session we're going to be doing the rough operation for everything over here on top okay